When you've made the decision to lift a down cow, follow this process to ensure that you're doing everything correctly to minimize pain and discomfort for the cow and make it safe and stress-free for you. Hip clamps should only be used to assist a cow into a standing position and not to suspend or transport a cow that is unable to stand. Padded hip clamps should be applied securely to the hip bones. Ensure the cow will have grip under her feet. If she's down on concrete or wet mud, add straw, hay or baleage so she can gain grip and feel more confident when trying to stand for herself. Move the cow to a suitable recovery area with a bedded non-slip surface. Adjust the clamp to ensure a firm fit, but do not over-tighten the clamps. Make sure they do not come loose as this can cause pelvis damage if they slip off during the lift. At this point, you can also add a strap behind the front legs. Using a strap along with hip clamps is good practice. It helps the cow up onto its front legs as the hips are raised. The additional support also minimizes discomfort for the cow and provides some additional restraint, making the process safer for you and the cow. Raise the cow slowly using a front end loader or hoist to assist the cow to stand. Once you can see the cow taking the weight on all four feet, slacken off the chain or strapping. Do not leave the cow unattended without removing the strap and clamp. Keeping the cow standing using only the lifting gear is a breach of the Dairy Cattle Code of Welfare Minimum Standards. If she cannot stand on her own, return the cow to the ground slowly and try again later. Seek veterinary advice if she continues to be unable to take her weight. Do not lift the cow's feet off the ground. Hip clamps must not be used to transport cows due to the pain and possible injury it can cause. Transporting a cow using hip clamps is a breach of the Dairy Cattle Code of Welfare Minimum Standards. If you need to move a cow, use a transport tray, tandem trailer or front end loader bucket. Regardless of the method of transport, the cow must be adequately restrained to prevent pain or undue stress. If the cow cannot stand on her own within 24 hours of going down, seek veterinary advice. The quicker a cow that is down is diagnosed, the more likely she will recover. A down cow must be provided with feed, clean fresh water, shade and shelter to help her manage body temperature.